the reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. And you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. Many. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. And I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. There we have it. Beauty. How about we continue our tasting? You must know that you're very special to me. If things were different, if we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. Yes, you are. Trust me, I would know. Let's do it your way then, so long as it's with you. A small gesture towards your comfort. So much for the timelessness of lovers. It's all right. You look even more beautiful in the light. I'd like to tell you a story. I hope it will be lovely still by the time we reach the end. It's a story full of answers long overdue. If it makes you feel any better, the affair didn't last very long. One day, all too soon, the whispers stopped. Have you ever walked to the very edge of a great precipice and shuddered at how easy it would be to step into the void? Ever since Elminster told me of Mistress' expectations of me, but you, you led me away from the edge. Without your words, your touch, I fear I would have sought purpose and solace in that void. You reminded me what living can feel like. I had been hoping you'd say that. To be an object of pity. <laughs> I couldn't live with that. I hope the end is much farther away than I had suspected. I hope that night meant as much to you as it did to me. And I hope we all have more time together. Together. Alone. Plenty of them. And all complicated. It's not easy to turn away from one you once loved, but now that I see our relationship with all the illumination hindsight has to offer, I mostly feel only regret. I was not the first wizard to fall under her spell, nor will I be the last. I was an amusement to her. Mortal to be trifled with, amused and eventually discarded. I regret the way I hurt her, of course I do. But she would have seen me destroy myself to earn her forgiveness. There's no love lost between us. None at all. <laughs>